Hey, welcome to this Windows channel. And if you're a older person like me that uh, has been around PCs for a long time, well, you've probably used Windows 3. You know, Windows 3 or 3.1, 3.11. And uh, you know what? This is a cool website you can go to. It has a collection of over 1,500 Windows 3 games and applications that are running in your browser. So any of these that you want to play, say I want to play Brick Busters, you just click and it's going to start. So you click the start button in the middle of the app. It's getting the emulator, it's running the files. All of that runs in your browser in DOSBox and you can even full screen if you want. Here it goes. And here you have the boot up of Windows 3.1 up to the game. If you use your mouse, you can actually click and it's going to ask you to turn off mouse pointer. You say yes. Now you're locked into the Windows 3 window. And all you have to do to come back with your mouse is press the escape button. So now you can actually run pretty much any Windows 3.1 games. You have access to the menus as if you were on Windows 3.1. You can exit the games and it comes back to you in this basic mode. So pretty amazing. Uh, great way to have access to all the software that was before in Windows 3.1. So like I said, over 1500 titles are here. So it's pretty, pretty uh, interesting to look at. It's really nice to see the good old games and good old applications we had in the past. Uh, really, really nice. Here, let's play a, a uh, clone of uh, Pac-Man with Mr. Chump. So here again, click to begin. And uh, once everything starts, there you go, Windows 3.1. All of that appears and works on your browser. So all you need is a compatible browser, which is pretty much every browser. So here I'm going to click to get the mouse pointer inside. So F2 start game. So let's try it out. Uh, here we're going to check for something. So new game, here it goes. And up. Simply works great. It's a little sluggish, but uh, it still works. So here I'm using my keys on the keyboard. So there's a little bit of sluggishness. It will probably depend maybe on the browser using. I'm using Microsoft Edge. I don't know. I haven't tried it in another browser. So anyways, if you want to have access to uh, Windows 3.1 stuff and uh, try out these games and apps and maybe, you know what, simply uh, go back memory lane. I'll post the link to the Windows 3.1 showcase library so you can actually check out the collection and like I said there's tons of software so uh, check it out really really is nice so there's sort by uh, you know views relevance title so you can click title if you want in the collection and it's going to change the type of apps that you see and uh, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff to look at here. Now, it doesn't seem that there's a lot, but there is, uh, actually. So if you look here, um, you'll have all the available stuff. So uh, hope you enjoy having the collection of Windows 3.1 games applications and uh, go back in time into the different software. Now, here there's not a lot of stuff, but apparently there are a lot more that will uh, pop up from uh, what I've seen. So uh, if you enjoy the videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And hopefully you'll enjoy checking out the software from Windows 3 and uh, be brought back to uh, memory lane so uh, that's for sure you're gonna have a lot of stuff to check at 
So for example, here, if we look at uh, software library Windows 3.x, here there's seven results. So there's, you know, depending on what you're going to check out, uh, it's in different categories, as you see here. So here's software library for Windows 3. Point, uh, Windows 3 games, 1000. Library for Windows 3 shareware. Library for um, desktop toys and productivity software. And of course, Windows 3 Showcase. Check that out. Lots of stuff to check out. And I'll be posting actually this link, which will give you the front page of the different categories that you can go to. And all brought by the archive.org website. So thanks for watching. If you do uh, enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and uh, hope you enjoy the videos.